Hello everyone, it's me Nasmus, and today we're going to do something special. I have my trusty old laptop with me right here. The one that has served me for years, more than uh, five years, more than six years now. I bought this, well, this laptop was purchased for me from my college by my dad back in 2010. I think this arrived in March 2010, so yeah, it's been more than six years. And I bought this laptop um, back then. <laughs> Our budget wasn't that high, but I bought this laptop from my experience in computing at that time and I bought this in a way that I, my, my choice of this laptop was based on me, me being able to use this for the next four to five years without being frustrated by it becoming too slow and I think alhamdulillah all praise to God this laptop has served me well so I have per finally purchased a new desktop PC with an actual graphics card and I'm giving this laptop away to my mom and she's going to use this for her regular um, learning stuff online and browsing the web. And I think this laptop is perfect for even today for doing basic stuff like that. Now, I'll get to the specs of this laptop a little, a little bit later in the video. And it came with Windows 7 pre-installed. The product he got wiped off. But that shouldn't be a matter. I, I even for, didn't, I forgot to even write down the product key. But it shouldn't be a matter. And I'll get to why that's the case. Now, there's a... This... I actually replaced the hard drive on this. We'll talk more about that. But strange, what's strange about this is taking the hard, replacing the hard drive of this laptop, laptop was actually pretty difficult. I had to take out everything, including the, and then take the entire back off. The battery and the RAM is easy. You just take this uh, hatch off to get the RAM out. But I had to actually take the entire thing off and take all, uh, take, take, uh, take the Wi-Fi card out, take all the. I didn't, the only thing I didn't have to take out was the motherboard, but everything else I had to take out, take all the protective cover off, and then I could replace the hard drive and put everything back in. I think I lost a couple of screws on the way, so some, yeah, I even had to take the disk drive out, so some things a little wobbly, but I think everything's fine. Um, so yeah, and I had, to, oh, I had to take the keyboard cover out. Apparently this is open. Yeah, put this to sleep. Uh, Windows 10 makes it, re is, makes it really quick, fast to, uh, uh, what do you call it? Resume for sleep. That's I like that about Windows 10. I uh, think it started with Windows 8. But yeah, I I, I plan to make this video part uh, uh, parts video like a uh, part one, part two, part three. Let's see how it goes. You'll know by the time it gets on YouTube, inshallah. So yeah, so let's talk about what I'm going to do and why I'm making this video. Well, I'm going to. I had I what I did right before is uh, when I was using this, I per I used, it came with Windows 7 Home Premium, and I. Pay, use the forty dollar up forty dollar upgrade offer when Windows eight came out to get a copy of Windows eight Pro for thirty nine ninety nine, and it allowed me to get Windows really cheap for the time because retail price of Windows was one hundred nineteen one hundred nineteen US dollars. I got it for thirty nine dollars. Great deal. It's not as good as free upgrade to Windows ten, but I got Windows eight Pro uh, for only thirty nine dollars, and I upgraded this PC. I uh, installed and I used the Windows. 10 free offer to upgrade this to Windows 10 but I'm I have since moved my Windows 10 Pro install install I got with this to my new PC because my new PC didn't have Windows 10 Pro I uh, installed when my Windows 8 Pro license that I bought for $39.99 for on the new PC and upgraded to Windows 10 Pro here so this computer um, I'll be restoring it to the uh, original Windows t uh, 7 version that came with this PC and I'll talk about why and then I'll upgrade this to Windows 10 home because it came with Windows 8 Windows 7 home so I'll get a free upgrade to Windows 10 home and today is the last day to get the free upgrade so it's gonna be fun I already acquired a free upgrade for this from because I already restored this to Windows 7 home got a free upgrade to Windows 10 home um, to entitle this PC to the Windows 10 license in case I miss my deadline I still have I could still, you know, um, go back to Windows 10 anytime. But I decided to want to make, I decided to make this video for you guys to see, uh, to show you what it's like to upgrade your PC using the Windows 10 upgrade offer for those of the future generations and viewers who never got to experience upgrading to Windows 10 for free. And also show you guys talk about my trusty old, old reliable computer and show how, it, and let you go through the journey of this t uh, me putting this computer back to its factory settings. So let's get started. First, I'm going to go up to my trusty storage. Hello, Nemo. 
So this is my room with all awesome toys and dolls and comfy chairs. And this is where I leave all my stuff. Hello, Pengu. We named him Pengu, me and my sister. But yeah, my stuff is over there. Yep, got it out. Lights off. And let's get picking. So this is the box that this laptop came with. Awesome. I don't know who wrote or if it was me wrote chemistry on this no idea why you could see it got beaten down but yeah remember how IBM PCs of the past came with huge boxes yeah not even a few years ago like a less uh, less than a half a decade ago or five years ago six years ago even small laptops like this well small compared to that those days thin laptops like this even came with a huge box and a bunch of manual stuff yep but as time passes we get less and less stuff today you just get like a tiny box with a slip telling you warranty information uh, no more manuals you get those online even those stuff are bare bones because who needs manuals today right these days so let's take this out and I have some bunch of crap that I'll talk about later a bunch of stuff that I want to talk about later but today we're gonna focus on I, I kept all my old stuff um, with floppy disks we'll talk about those as well uh, I, t I kept all my old stuff um, from ancient computers, some which I have even given away. So I have some orphan stuff lying around here. We'll talk about those later. The floppy, you could go bye bye for now. We'll talk more. All these floppy drives, yep. We'll talk more about those. I'll have to empty those out because I still have a computer with a floppy drive. Then I'll have to hook up the floppy drive to the motherboard so I could empty those floppy drive out. See, these are all driver disks. We'll talk about those later. All right, let's see what we got here. This is a packet in which all this is the packet that actually came with this computer originally and had all these discs. I'm not kidding you. So let's see what this computer came with. So we have Windows 7. This is actually a printer driver, brother printer driver. This one didn't come with the computer. This came with the printer we bought and I just put it in there because I don't know where else to put it. This is... I'll... Uh, oh. This is drivers um, and utilities already installed on your computer. I'll take this out. I'll, we'll use this, actually. Yeah, so there you go. I have some. It says February 2010. So, revision A02, A02, February 2010. It contains device drivers, diagnostic and utilities. The software is already installed on your computer. Use this to only reinstall the software, which we will do. Com computer supported Den Dell Inspiron 1464. Um, oh my god, guys, I totally forgot to give you the model number of my four, for, uh, Dell PC. It's an Inspiron 1464. I, I, in fact, this uh, I did, I forgot the name of my computer for for years, and I, I only looked up my name. Uh, I had to, when I, I, I recently looked up my name, what my computer is, to search for newer versions of the driver because I was reinstalling Windows on this Windows 7 on this um, I needed the touchpad touchpad driver because Windows Update wasn't offering it and also I needed instructions on how to open up the computer to replace the hard drive so I looked up my model number um, uh, and type find, finding out it's 1464 remembering at least so yeah the, oh, it has a product key behind it can't show you that this is Microsoft Works 9 I think I don't, yeah, I don't have the product key, but it, it's Microsoft Works 9. Made in China. Where does it say that? Yeah, there. Microsoft Works 9.0. 9 oh, I love this. I loved this uh, application back in the day because the dictionary it came with, Encarta Dictionary, was awesome. Here, Windows 8 Pro 64 bit. Dell Inspiron Instruction Guide. Yeah, even this came with a small manual. Pretty nice. It used, it used, it's nice. You got lots of stuff, more than just a piece of metal computer. You got other stuff with it, too. Um, digital, I have no idea what that is. Probably another thing I kept. And that's it. Did I lose my install disk? Oh, no. Well... I'll see you in a bit while I go find it. Well, would you look at that? I, uh, the me from the past trolled me from the present. Well, I, I 
put in the Windows 8 Pro disk that I made after I purchased the OS uh, inside the Windows 7 Pro, uh, disk because I thought, oh, operating system disk in the same packet, why not? But little did I know that I would forget where Windows I put Windows 7. So but I guess, thankfully, I remembered. Uh, there. Yes, I was touching the back of the disk. Shouldn't do that. Never do that. But yeah, it, it's relatively clean. If I could get into focus. There. It's relatively clean for over six years of being with me. Uh, not that I have to use it often. I did make a soft copy of this, but yeah. Operating system. Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit in reinstallation DVD. Already installed on your computer. This software is already installed on your computer. Use this DVD to reinstall the operating system on on a Dell PC. This dev DVD is not per, not for reinstallation of programs or drivers. Support for product is provided by Dell for distribution with new only with new Dell PCs. Uh, okay, so here's the interesting part. This is a disk that came with my computer, and how it worked is. This, ver this is a modified version of Windows 10 that Microsoft doesn't support so Windows 10 or Windows 7. This is actually an OEM co copy that Microsoft handed out to Dell that only Dell is... Back then, Dell is just the OEMs used to support the OS that came with the PCs, not Microsoft directly. You actually have to connect, or connect co contact the OEM. Only recently does Microsoft now support Windows 10 on, their, on even OEM PCs. So how this worked is that the, this is a, this is a differently differently made uh, burnt disk. Uh, what how it works is you had a product key with the uh, the the computer that was a unique product key that you could use to activate Windows in case you had to reinstall Windows from a uh, what do you call it from a vanilla disk. If you installed the vanilla version of Windows Seven, you could then use this product key to act put it in and activate it. Um, but if we use the OEM key CD, it did not ha have a product key. It does not ask for your product key, even if you install it on another PC. It actually has a different key. The uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's it's it, it, the key it has is same, I believe, for all the disk that Microsoft provides Dell. So this this disk uses the same key for all D Dell disk of the time at the time and dis uh, distributed to all Windows. Windows 7 computers, if I'm not mistaken, and it'll only activate if you install this disk on a uh, Dell PC. So it's interesting. I never try to put this in a se se separate Dell PC. I I try to be, I guess, fair and legal by only using the disk on this Dell PC. So I don't know what would happen if you say installed and in, in on a Dell Inspiron desktop. But I I I think it would still work because. Dell already licensed the OS, but I don't know how it would work if that PC came with Windows 7 Professional or if you used a professional disk from Dell on, on this PC, so I don't know how that would work. So yeah, so there's the there's the computer, we're going to do that, we're going to do our thing. So I, I'll look at all this fingerprint, ew, I'll have to, I'll clean that up, I guess it's a finale for this video. But yeah, I'm going to open this, as you can see it resumed. Ooh, look at this beautiful picture. Oh, cool. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to... Sh this is my mom's account. Uh, I boarded back from her so I could do this final uh, tribute video. So I'm going to shut it down. Shut down. Uh, today's the last day to get the free upgrade. Yep. Today's the last day to get the free upgrade to Windows 10, so I guess I've procrastinated. Hello, you could see me from the... Reflection and my phone that I'm using to record. But yeah, it was the last day you could get the free upgrade, so I decided to procrastinate. But I have to do it today because if I don't do it today, I can't show you guys what the free upgrade experience is like. All right, I think it's off. So we're gonna put this disc in. Oh, I have to actually. I should have put the disc in. Okay, I was worried that I might have ruined the disc uh, by uh, taking it off and I actually reconnected incorrectly when I was putting my computer back together. 